Joe. Yes, how are we coming with the, the Reynolds Willies? Well, what do some, we have? What do we have happening here today? We have some very good news and some not as good news. But, okay. Um, what I did is I stripped the nose off. We've been busy for the past couple of days, just myself. And uh, one area of really good news is the frame is nice and straight. There's no area that shows uh, it's been hit or impacted in such a way that the frame is bent. At least not more than any things that I can tell, which is fine. That's acceptable. So that'll make uh, setting up the new front end, new suspension, a lot easier than last time because the frame is not distorted. Right. This is a lot better frame than the other t-shirt, which okay. is great. Okay. Okay. Cool. Joe, did you have any trouble getting the fenders off? Well, a little bit. Um, the problem is that this car is designed that you can take the nose off with ordinary hand tools, wrenches, and it shouldn't take that long to take it off. It's an unboltable item. They're unbolted. Part of the frame and on the firewall here where Chris is standing. Yeah. And you can easily take it out with hand wrenches, but for some reason I could not take the nose off at all. It was like it was glued on, and it turns out what my worries were were noticing the clear coat that was in the grooves inside the body panels. Yeah. And it looked to me like it, it should have a gap like this. Yeah, we talked about that the other but day. But over in the back over here, it was, it was oh. fully welded to the body. So the, the fenders were welded shut right here where it had to be cut. And the reason why people do that is because it didn't have a flange strong enough here where it's bolted to to so that, allow it to come flush in. So we need to build that back up so we can attach the front fender to it and put some sort of threaded receptacle in there? Or well, we... it, it, it had speed nuts on the body frame itself, which has rotted. So okay. what was happening was the fender could not be pulled in tight enough to the body it would be hanging out here. So what they did is instead of fixing the rod, which you should have done, they tack welded it shut to the body. Okay. All right. Let's take it up in the air and have a look at that floor you're telling me about, Joe. So we have we have uh, good news about the floors. The floors are in much better condition than the last one. This has been patched before, and the repair on the right side is um, well, it's happened again because it wasn't done right. But that that's. The area that's right here, it starts here and goes all the way up here. That's where this metal is. Oh, yeah. And it's right above this cross member support that's where the body slides from. And if you look over here, this is the flange that the fender is supposed to bolt to. You can see daylight through it. Yeah. So this has to be replaced, this inner rocker, fab up a patch for the okay. outer rocker so we can bolt the fender on correctly without huh. welding it back on it. How about the other side? The other side, same deal. No. Right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the actual floor plans, like we did on the last one, are okay. Right. The rear section is fine. There's really no rust. It's just, it has to be cleaned off. And yeah. That's where the other one had the plywood. <laughs> yeah. And fiberglass. How's the rear suspension look? The rear suspension looks good. They're a um, serviceable item. You don't have to respring it. I think we resprung the last one. This one's not... New tank. Yeah. Oh, fully. somebody put a new tank. Or yeah, new straps. They, they new over, tank. They over-tightened it. It's a... It's, it's a... a, a, oh, paper, okay. a fiberglass type deal. Okay. But they over-tightened it, so I have to put some shims in it. It's crushing like a can. Yeah, I see so, that. You know, I'll <laughs> fix that too while I'm here. This looks a little sketchy. Yeah, you're never supposed to have glass or plastic underneath. One rock can hit that, hit the exhaust, catch on fire, big fireball. Okay. You're supposed to always have steel filters, especially underneath.